Okay, in this setup, I now have the uh, IR LED connected to the uh, left and ground of the DRRS pin. And uh, if I play a music, some music on my computer, you can see the IR LED dancing to the music. Pretty cool. And uh, in this setup, I also have the uh, this IR transmitter receiver module, which is connected to the Arduino, powered by the Arduino, and uh, the output of which I'm giving it to a s small headphone speaker. So the theory behind is that if since IR, I, this is, since this IR LED is just emitting out IR radiation, I can capture that using this uh, IR receiver, IR receiver, and play it on my play it on the speaker. So. Uh, so here I have a song playing on my computer. So and uh, if, I, if I bring the IR LED. Okay, so now if I play a song on the computer, what happens is. Now this playing of the song happens even and I just even if I move around if I move around the vicinity of this IR LED, but if I move beyond the range of this IR LED's IR LED's range, so it just the song just stops playing. Look, the range of it I'm able to get it up to this range and receive something out of it. So. But if you use something as sophisticated as a T-stop, I believe that the range could be increased as well. Pretty cool, huh? And also, if you, and also the uh, by decreasing and increasing the volume uh, volume on my computer, I, the uh, br brightness value of the IR LED can be adjusted as well. Bye bye.